this video with narration and cut out a few images that were inappropriate. Uh, actually, only one image. And so I'm just going to try to give it a little bit of narration. So it might not make complete sense, but it's just a way to give this video a little bit more context and still keep the music and uh, the original comments and so forth instead of redoing the video altogether. So, first of all, the incubators, a lot of people have asked about the incubators. The incubators were first introduced at the World's Fair, and some people speculate that it was a way for people to take children and put them into situations like this, like public schools and so forth, that they needed more bodies for the system. They needed more children for the system to repair like what you see here but flooded cities they needed more bodies to dig more bodies to work and to train them for situations like that they needed them to be indoctrinated so <clears throat> there you go that's the, the theory with the incubators is the incubators were a cover story to move children around uh, not unlike what may or may not be happening today in other situations, but that would be a different video, <clears throat> obviously. So, like I said, I don't know, I don't know everything about every picture, nor does a lot of other YouTubers out there. We just put pictures out there and people can make what they want from them. We don't have answers for everything. All I know is that the incubators were a strange period during the World's Fair's uh, history and uh, they say it was to show off the science and the medical breakthroughs. I don't know. This photo most likely isn't that suspicious or, you know, important. It might even just be a Halloween picture. Now the thing with the Coney Island and the other beaches of the early 1900s is they seem out of place. They seem like they've never even seen water. Why are they wearing so many clothes? Why are they wearing so many clothes in this picture? It's not just about modesty. It's about these are the clothes that they were given. They don't seem right, as other people have mentioned, as John Levi's mentioned, as Wood Nichols has mentioned. They don't seem... All these people seem out of place. Their clothes don't match. What it, seems, it just seems awkward. It seems over overdone, especially with the hats and the umbrellas, parasols, whatever you call them. There's just a strangeness about all these people. They just seem out of place. This woman seems out of place on the diving board. It's like she's never been on a diving board before. You know, and nobody can explain why people were wearing so many damn clothes. You know, and why everybody had the same hat. There's just a lot of inconsistencies. And when I first started doing these videos, I wanted to just see if people could kind of figure it out much by looking at them. But if people prefer narration, I'll give narration. I, I should give narration anyways. It's, it's more interesting, I suppose. And if you don't want to hear my narration, then you can mute the video. And I'm going to be doing uh, non-narrated video is just the music on a different channel. I'm going to make a separate channel just for that. And then this channel will be more uh, narration videos. But I'll have a separate channel just for the music and the pictures. Anyways, like I was saying, with the hats, look at the hats. Now this picture I know is a lot of, to do with perspective, that those people aren't actually that much smaller than that foot. Just kind of optics but interesting nonetheless now this picture i have no idea it looks like russia but that's a pretty big bell you know i don't know if anybody knows leave in the comments i just think it's interesting you know i'm trying to give context now but i don't have all the answers all i know is that all those guys got the same damn hat and that's weird you know they'll say oh well you know there was only so many people making hats back then, and there was only so many styles, but this, you know, it's weird.
it's strange. It's like they got a kit. It's like when they got here, they were just given a kit of clothes. They didn't always fit, and it didn't always make sense. <laughs> you know. And this year, I don't know. Not sure. Maybe a World's Fair. Maybe something else. Not sure. It's not a picture. It's a drawing. These guys, captains of industry. I don't know. Pretty suspicious looking to me, especially the guy there on the staircase. It's his deal. Yeah. Like I said, if anybody knows more than me, feel free to leave it in the comments. Yeah, those are telegraph wires. But still, it's a lot of them. Yeah, there's some inconsistencies with the technology and the infrastructure. We had telegraph wires, but we had mud roads. We had telegraph wires, but we had horse horse poop. Yeah. Dung. We had dung. We had dung in the streets. Yeah. It just doesn't it just doesn't add up. We could build marvelous buildings, but we had horse dung in the street. Yeah, we're led to believe that these inconsistencies are normal. They're not normal. They're, they're glaring, stark inconsistencies. Yeah, some people were poor and they had to live in houses like in the previous picture and they had to have jobs like these kids. But that's another inconsistency. If anybody wants to debate this, I'm open for discussion about anything I said. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure it out too. I don't have all the answers. Looks like they're building the subway or they dig out the old the old buildings. That's that's the question. Look at all these people. That's how you that they came from Europe. That's how you that they came from Eastern Europe. That's how you that they came from Russia. I don't know. Maybe. But why? Why? Why did when they get here? There was already a place for those already skyscrapers. Did they help dig out what was still left under mud? Uh, I mean, no one can argue that the period between 1812 and 1920 was a very interesting period in America. Now, other people, they focus on Europe, they focus on Asia. I'm primarily concerned with what was happening here in the United States between, I don't know, I'd say 1812 and 1920. There's another incubator baby, you know, a lot of talk about the incubator babies, the World's Fair, and, and the true meaning. I don't know, but it seems sinister. Here's a panorama of San Francisco World's Fair, you know. There's a lot of people there. A lot of people came to San Francisco shortly after the earthquake. They thought it was a good idea to rebuild in an earthquake prone part of the world. Yeah. Look how fancy the trains were. Look how nice the rugs were. Look how nice the ceiling of the train car is. Why can't we do that anymore? Is it because it's not necessary? Here, look, see. Chinatown, San Francisco, same phenomenon. Everybody dressed the same. Everybody primarily has the same, primarily has the same type of hat. There's another picture of a beach scene. You know, everybody looks like they're not dressed for the beach. And like I said, they'll talk about modesty, you know, but it doesn't add up. People were allowed to dress appropriate for the beach. Here's some more immigrant children and their mother. You know, I know that his history is spotty then, but look at this here, the White House. And there's trash everywhere, and these people look indigent and like dirty, but they don't belong. I know things were different back then, but still, it begs the question, what the hell was going on back then? You know, these people standing out here at the ocean dressed like that, why? Why would you dress like that? 
Why would you dress like that if you know you're going to stand in the ocean? It could be a small thing, it might not be a big detail. Here we go, again, with the hats. Everybody's got the same hat. Yeah. Or has just that cheap. Yeah, they were just giving them away. I mean, like I said, I know it's a silly thing to obsess about, but, you yeah, know, there's something to it. These children, out on the street, you know, probably gonna get taken to some other family halfway across the country. Once again, here, Coney Island. You know, what's the deal with the clothes? Doesn't add up. Just doesn't add up. And nobody's got a freaking beach towel. Yeah. Greenwich Village. Hot dogs. I don't know. Every picture is a potential clue. Every picture is a, a potential missing link. I don't have the answers. Nobody really does. But we all have our separate clues. We put those together, we can create a more accurate narrative. That's what it's about. It's about questioning the perceived narrative. The narrative that's given us, the narrative that we're not supposed to even really question or look into and say, what's wrong with creating a new narrative? Thousands of children were moved by orphan trains. Why? They say to get them out of big cities to bring them to rural areas. What if the opposite was happening? What if they were taking kids from rural areas and bringing them to cities? I don't know. I think both was going on. I think they needed both. I think they needed kids in the rural areas and I think they needed kids in the city, but they needed a different type. They wanted to take the rural kids out of the rural areas and bring them into the cities and vice versa. Why? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. If anybody has proof, you know, leave a comment. So, I'm going to close now with just some more uh, opinions about the whole about the whole uh, series of events between 1812 and 1920 is that something major happened under the noses of the people in that period. And they're dead, they're long gone. There may be stories out there that help present a better picture of what's happening, but a another big factor into it was, as you see with this closing scene, is Hollywood. Hollywood paid, played a vital role in changing the true narrative and creating a new narrative through motion picture films, through an illusion. That's what movies are, they're an illusion. Thank you.